Hello gentle people, I hope you are having an amazing day. I'm going to uh, do another carving video for you, this time, after two quiet videos, I will talk. So we'll make another little uh, tutorial uh, about carving a little figurine. Uh, this time we'll probably do something like, I think, <coughs> a blacksmith or yeah, as you can see here, someone holding a hammer. So yeah, a blacksmith, a carpenter, or just maybe a warrior. I don't know. We'll see uh, how it goes while carving. If we'll give this guy a helmet or something like this, maybe it will be. So yeah, let's. Uh, I already stroked my knife. Uh, so let's let's get cracking. So I already. Um, Place the lines for the feet as I've done before, uh, and then I do almost half of it for uh, the face. Uh, the beard will go there, but this time will be behind the hammer here. I have the arms on both sides, and I've done the middle line for all of these. Uh, yeah, the size, it's my last piece, in fact. Uh, it's uh, one really weird size, so I don't know, guys. You should probably not take the same measurement, but uh, 3 inches by 1 inch by... Well, 1 inch, so it's kind of cool in inches and centimeters. Probably a bit random, I guess. 7.5 by 4 by two and a half it's lind or basswood or lime wood so uh, yes so how I've been carving my little guys recently I uh, start with just the side of the face create little uh, V cuts just to start with same thing on the other side there's already an angle on this one, but uh, because of the piece of wood I had before. Alright, so we have both sides here. Then I do the same thing with the feet to give them some depth. So uh, this one is a stop cut. So I cut on the line and then I go in. I'll go slowly because I don't want to cut too much wood since we have the all the front here that will be the, the arms holding the hammer in some way I have a line here for the elbow so I will just go through there and that'll be it for now same thing here, I don't want to go too far. There will be the little tidbits of the hammer going off the arm. And then I will keep on carving straight. I could do a, a proper uh, stop cut here. Just to have a little shape for the feet for later. I hope you've been enjoying my video recently. I'm trying my best to uh, do a bit more. And yeah, the last two I was mostly freestyling. Um, I felt that I could just people looking at me carving could probably be helpful in some way. Even if I don't talk, at least you see the majority of the cuts. And you can follow along. Um, all right so there's a lot of different angles here the hand here holding the hammer we have to be forward a bit at least the fingers so this hammer will be a bit deeper um, but i think first i will uh, give this guy a head as usual so take my pen and I create another line a bit higher in the back maybe like this then I do the same thing and create little V cuts for the back of the head. <coughs> Both 
side. Make the shoulder pop. So then what I do is I draw a line from uh, the corner of the triangle to the other here on both sides. It just helps me uh, follow along the cut. That will then generate the, uh, the shoulders. I want to go deep here to uh, give good shoulders. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have the shape here. But then what I, I kind of want to start doing is straight going for the arms because that's the tricky part. Uh, I've done lines on both sides here for the well, the side of the the shoulders, and then uh, so what I will do, I think, is uh, go for the arms with a stop cut here. Same thing on the other side. Like this, and then I will do another cut to follow the line that I have here for the arms. We'll do the top part and then we'll go to the, uh, the other part after for the, the below part. Okay. I have stop cuts on both sides. I will uh, create the shape of the hammer also. In stop cuts that will help us not remove the wood that we don't want to remove. Okay. It's obviously always easier if you cut these type of angles, the big one compared to the little tricky one depending on your knives. So from here we will remove the wood um, and here in the middle uh, we could keep the beard, I think I will do that also. We'll be able to remove later, but we can't add, so I just follow the cuts to create the beard shape. Then I'll do another step cut here and here, following the lines. Okay, so all of this wood and this wood sort of needs to be removed alongside these lines for the arms. So we can start to dig in through the beard already. Okay. Basically you want to remove this wood there along that line so you will make the arm pop on the side. All my uh, little guys are caricature so it's uh, the proportion are not perfectly human size. So we have the arm popping so it will have a side going down here and then 
up that way. Pulling the hammer again. Where you go, the sort of the better the arm will look. You can take your time, making sure you remove the right amount of wood and have clean cuts. So I have one arm popping from here. We'll be able to remove the wood in the inside. Uh, a bit later also because we kind of want to have a chest of the guy at least from this the, the, the armor will probably hide the vast majority of things but at least we can have the pectoral or something like that okay let's do the same thing on the other side You can do smarter cut if you're afraid like me right now. I don't want to cut too much wood. So I'm going slowly. This little triangle here, it will just take a couple of uh, cuts like that to remove. Make sure you take your time so you don't pop the hammer out. If you're new to this, or even if you're not, I think I will probably always wear gloves. Someone wrote to me on another of my video that they were not wearing gloves, and that is perfectly fine for them. I'm just uh, really, really good at hurting myself, so I prefer to wear gloves. And it was obviously not shown in the video, but I cut myself doing the. I don't remember which one. The grumpy viking last time i think that was um that was a pretty good cut it was a small one but it was bleeding a lot so yeah don't don't do that basically um, the line is here Sorry about that. See, I've cut a bit, a little bit part of the, the hammer now. It's kind of bad, but that's okay. Let's ease. The hammer is pretty big. I, I've made it big on purpose. A little bit more, and I think that'll be pretty good. All right. So I don't know if you can see, but the arms are popping on both sides, which is what we want. We'll thin the guy at the bottom uh, later. When we have the arm, it will be easier to just remove a lot of wood. And I will remove more here. Okay. Maybe that too, that's a bit much. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the uh, last couple of videos I've been practicing the arm proportion. Obviously it's easier to... Uh, carved little arms on the side, but uh, all my guys were starting to look the same. So I wanted to start something a little bit 
different than you. Okay. I think that's good enough for now for the for here. Um now we could should probably do the bottom of the arm. The tree here. You have the you have basically the hand holding the hammer, which is the finger here. And then we have the other uh, hand holding the hammer itself, not the top of the hammer. This thing should probably be a little bit lower than this thing at the top, and then this will need to be also lower a little bit. But I will carve the shape first, and then I will remove wood after. Put a little bit of the hand here. It's a lot of little corners that I will try to not break. The other hand. Keep it bigger so we can, um, as you can see, the little bit here is basically the hammer handle that goes. I'll see if I can keep it. If I pop it by mistake, that will not be that big of a deal. All right. And then we'll make another line here. Another big stop cut. And another big stop cut for this arm. It might be not symmetrical, but like I always say, you can remove more wood. For now, just having the general shape will be really good enough. is a bit tricky. Go in, move. If you right handed or left handed it's a bit different but that's why my guys usually have things on one side. There's always an easier side to cut depending on what you like in terms of knife holding and cuts. I prefer carving like this than towards me. I'm still a bit uh, insecure about it. So whenever I can carve in that direction I will absolutely do it. So it's not a lot but you see we are having uh, we're starting to have a little depth important to have a little bit of space uh, that's why the feet are fairly low compared to the other ones I've done before because if you don't have space you can't carve with your knife and yes you could uh, use some different gouge and chisel I guess but uh, I'm only carving with a knife so even that distance is kind of tricky to go deeper because we'll have to go deeper to Make it look normal, I guess, with the legs and everything. So we're starting to have the general shape a little bit more on this side. This is just round, but uh, like I said before, it's to make sure that I have a little piece of wood to have the handle of the hammer going out. can remove the wood for the leg later. I'll just remove a bit more now. Because like I always do, I just jump around the place. Okay. So now we have the cuts on both sides. So we will remove that wood um, all the way to the back. 
basically. Um, and then we'll remove a lot of wood, so you can uh, just go towards the stop cut. Right, so we have depth here for the arm. All of the wood basically as deep as the arm will go away on both sides. So we'll do that side too. So uh, yeah, we have both arms. So now we'll, I'll just literally remove all of that wood because obviously the shoulders are outside the body so uh, from here you just you just make big cuts and remove all the things including the feet all the way to pretty much the same depth as the arms Same thing on this side. Well, splitting helps because that really blasts the thing away. Okay. Not really deep enough, but that'll do for now. Um, you can see the depth on both sides. I could go all the way to here with this guy too. I don't know if I'm at the end of the green or something with this one, but this side is splitting like no tomorrow okay I'm always finishing with the head now because for me it's sort of like the uh, the easy part um, so I guess we could give this guy a little butt now since we're there These carvings are a little bit more complicated than my little knight that I've done, but uh, yeah, if you've been carving from day to day, following my little guys, it's little guide and tutorial, I guess you can. Uh, you know, I'm really far from a pro myself. Still, a lot of amateur. Soon, in two months, I think. I think I will. I've been carving for a year. Okay. Good. So we have the back. We could uh, still have the center line. Let loose that thing. Let's pop that thing a bit. Pop that thing on the other side. Once again, for now that'll do, so we don't lose it. Okay. So we have the arms and the hand here. So yeah, like I said, uh, let's attack this part here again. These fingers need to be higher than this hammer, obviously, because they're at the edge of the whatever rock part thing. So. Um, We'll carve the hammer down a bit. Just make a little stop cut at the fingertip. That same thing here. 
Okay. And there for now. Then we'll remove just a bit of wood. The fingers will be pretty thin uh, because I don't have a lot of depth, but that should uh, do the trick to give a sense of depth. Just go slowly. Could and should have probably left more space from the fingers to the hammer. That kind of guides the uh, general cuts here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then the, now the beard is kind of forward, but we'll push everything back after in any way. And we could clean these cuts also already. Okay, so it's uh, it's really really thin. We could go deeper, but not exactly sure how deep I can go, because that will push everything back, just because of this hammer uh, depth. Should still be a bit deeper, because the fingers are not popping at all. Okay. No, it's not too bad, I guess. All right, so we have the finger in the front and the hammer a little bit in the back. Okay. I think that'll do. I've never done that before, but uh, yeah, I think that should uh, that should. Do. Okay, this little part is a bit ugly. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, but the hammer is a bit pushed back now, so the hand here is in the front. We still have the depth here, I'll do a little uh, pyramid cut to create some depth. All right, okay. I think that's good. Um, now, I have the hand here and the arm. I think I'll just pop that little thing already. Okay. Thing for the handle, and then the arm is supposed to be here, so that will be just a little bit of wood to remove. Let's hope I don't break it. If I do, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna break the, the really, really 
sharp edge of the arm later. Okay, so that thing is there. It should be the same depth though. Alright, so now I just need a little little cut to break that thing. So it's really slow. So like I said, you don't pop that wood back because that would be a really fragile little part. But everything is in the detail. All right, so I don't know if you see, but there's this little bit out now. So that's the handle of the hammer. Cool. All right, we could remove a little bit more here with a little triangle cut. Okay. That should do it. Basically, both hands needs to sort of be in the front, and then the arms needs to be a little bit back. So I've made stop cuts on both hands, and I will remove some wood. Not that much. The proportion will not be human perfect. But that should give a little bit of depth, at least. I can round the corner of this arm already. Okay. The same thing here. I'll just remove all that wood here. Pop these elbows around. Same thing here without breaking the hammer handle, if possible. Okay, so that's where we are. Looks like his uh, little kid holding his hammer super, super tight. Don't want to lose his hammer. Hammer is important. Just remove that part of the hand. It kind of doesn't fit. Okay. So that was it for the really tiny detail here. I guess. Okay. I'll just remove a little bit more wood from the chest here so that hammer will pop more. The hammer is really the focal point in this carving. That's the important bit. In the middle. Okay. Kind of lost the arm here. All right, not bad. Cool. So that that was the hard part. I will just remove all of that wood from the bensa because it looks bad. That'll be done already. Okay. So now let's bring back the shoulders so the the arms are more tied into the body well this is really all right okay now it's cleaner okay same thing on the other side so the right arm is way thinner than the right the left one because i had to remove wood so, like I said before, at least I can remove wood on one side to make it as thin as the other. And to remove even more. Okay. And same thing here. 
just pop everything back so it fits more with the shoulders. Okay. All right, so we have this guy holding his little hammer. Um, well, now let's have a little shape at the head. So all of this wood, all the way to the shoulder on both sides. We need to remove that. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's not really centered anymore. There's one, there's more on this side. As you can see, it's kind of crooked, so I'll remove more wood on this side. All right, it's a bit better now. So we'll make the back of the head, I think. It'd be cool to have long hair-ish with this guy, so like in the front with the beard, I think I'll make a little V thing here, and then or that, yeah, yeah, I think it can work. I don't have a lot of wood to play around. I don't want that guy to be as skinny as a skeleton. Alright, so I'll just remove less of wood from the back now. I can round that thing in the corner also. I haven't done that before, but there's no specific step to follow. We'll remove more later when we do the, the cloth, basically. Okay, so here's the shape of the guy. With the arms on both sides and holding his little hammer. We'll work after that. Uh, yeah, I always finish with the head, so... Um, now let's just do the general shape of the body. Oops. Um, so yeah, let's make the shoes straight like that. In fact, I think I'll work on that a little bit. Need to remove the wood here. All of this needs to go way, 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 way deeper. I have space on this side, but with the little uh, chip from there, I think I can remove that. Okay. I have a bit less space to work on this side, but it's still doable. Corners. I could use my smaller flex cut knife to do this, but you know. I'm a simple man of simple cuts, and I just use one knife. No, I used to use my my other tutorial. I was using the big carving knife from the Mora that I have, and 
the other flex cut and I don't know. I got really used to just using this roughing flex cut knife. It's not even the detail one. Okay, now this needs to be back. Okay. It's not perfect, but uh, there's less wood in the front now. Same thing. Let's sort of the middle. I don't think that's the middle. It's more like here. Let's pop those feet. We'll remove more wood to make this uh, sort of shape. Vikings with clown feet. Why not, right? But I'll not do the same mistakes I've done with the grumpy guy because this is when I cut my finger. I was using a really stupid way of cutting, so let's not do that now. All the way to the butt part. Okay, same thing this side. Okay, that's where we're at. Sorry. So I'll make this guy a little bit. We'll stop cut here. We got there. Okay. Now we will do the face. Uh, let's round everything. Have the center line be some sort of a triangle for the. It's a triangle, but like you know, the egg shape of the head should sort of merge there, as you can see here. I leave this part for the beard. I think I should probably remove some because now it's like it could even go sort of like around the hammer. I'll see later. It's not too bad for now. So cut wood. Just leave this little part for the hair. I think that should be good. Almost there. It's not. Uh, there's not that much left to work on. A little bit of cuts and stuff, and let's round the head more. Always look at the top and see like how it looks. If it's round-ish. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's have him have a helmet, but no nose protector. I want this guy to have a big nose. I don't have a big nose with my guys. So just follow along, push your finger, and then have your pencil at the same place and just rotate with your left hand. 
So normally the line should be straight. I'll remove the wood here. Now that I think about it, I could have probably left the wood here so the the beard will have sort of maybe been above the hammer because now I kind of have to remove the wood all the way to the depth of the hammer to look like it's behind which is not exactly what I wanted when I think about it but that's okay that will still work. Okay, so now it's the same. I will make a cut and put it in and that'll be fine. Okay, so now stop cut all around to make the helmet. You can just hold your knife and rotate your figurine or go with your knife, it depends. I'm hor sorry, I'm horrible at cutting straight, so <laughs> should be good enough. So now we have the stop cut all around, so I just carved through the helmet all the way around. Okay, so we got the general shape of the helmet. So now the nose, always straight in the middle, big line. So what I do is I do a straight cut. And then I just go for it. That cuts on both sides, on the cheek, and that's really perfectly fine. Um, we'll arrange that after. Nose is still a thing that should work more to be able to create bigger, bolder, deeper nose. Okay, so I kind of lost my center line, but I have this middle part here. So I'll just put two lines on both sides like this. Stop cut, both of them. And then I basically remove wood on both sides here the shape of the nose. Like you've seen before, if you've watched other of my videos, I don't carve eyes, I paint them instead. That is obviously, uh, for me, way easier. I guess it's a bit of laziness. So now we have a big nose. I kind of like it. Uh, I usually carve in a little bit at the top to make the nose, the big, the, the front of the nose pop. Cut two corners. There we go. Remove a little bit at the top. Remove the pencil and the pencil line around the corner. There we go. So we have a nose. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's let's do the cheek. As you've seen in my other videos, they're all the same. I use the little edge that I've created on both sides, and then I do a 45, 90 degree angle, and I go really square about that. Create this general shape. And then it's. Uh, cut on the sides following these lines basically create some depth Oh, 
always end up with one side, not exactly like the others, but that's fine, right? Humans are not exactly symmetric. Okay, so I have both the bow the, 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 the cheeks. Um, then what I will do now is I usually uh, carve the eye slot deeper from the nose. A couple of slides. I don't think you will see that in the camera, but uh, yeah. Do that on both sides. Yeah might see that and then uh yeah basically now we will just do a little cut for the belt so i just grumpy these guys in so you see these uh little cuts and then i carve in since i'm right and then i start from the corner to the other create some depth and then i do a st straight cut in the middle If you see the line, and then I will carve under it in an angle shape, maybe two times. There we go. So you can see the lip. Okay, so um, these legs are horrible. I need to remove more wood from there. Okay. Um, I will c cut some triangle pirate cut here in the center to basically separate, create a little depth in the middle. Now if you see, but now the arms is sort of popping better. I'll do the same thing on the other side. I hope you can see it. Or at least you understand what I'm talking about. If not, well, that is, that is okay. Okay, now I will just round everything because everything is so sharp. I really like the look of uh, different little cuts when I paint, so I just do these little cuts here and there. It gives more texture. Same thing on the other side. Just make sure you cut with the grain, not against it, because that will split and then uh, that is sad. And we don't want to be sad. There's no more depth in this arm, so I will remove more wood here. Come on. Oh, this wood is stuck here. Alright, okay. Cool. Just remove the top part of the hand. It's just a layer of wood we don't like for the pencil cut. And what I will do is um, just three cuts on both hands. Be bigger for this one. I'm not cutting the wood, I'm just making a cut. So we have the line for um, the fingers if you see that. It's kind of dark, I think. And same thing on the other hand. All right, so now the fingers are popping. The thumb is not really there, but we can imagine that it's kind of... So, just make the beard a little, little cut here, just to separate the beard from the hammer. All right, okay. Let me fix that a little bit. It's a lot of uh, green. Okay, so we have the hand, we have everything now. 
just need to give this guy a back because it's really bad right now. So I think uh, what I usually do is <coughs> from a little bit from the the armpit here. I think I could remove a bit more wood. I'll just do some V cuts on both sides. You don't really have to be precise here. It kind of gives more texture if you don't. Then I go straight to join both. creates his back here and now the, the butt is there he really has a flat butt but you know I guess he should do more uh, deadlift to work on his on his booty try to bring it to the arms like this all right and then the same thing on the other that's a really long arm <laughs> it looks kind of like this guy has like longer arms he, he can probably touch the ground while holding his while standing <laughs> well that's a bit out of proportion I see that there's no distinction between the beard and the shoulders now so let's have that Oops. on both sides That's a bit, uh, that's a bit much, but yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, there's a first for everything. Kind of looks great from the front, but from the side, it's really crooked. The arms need to be more uh, angular here. I don't want to pop the little handle thing. In any way, I'll do the trick, but uh, yeah, it's a bit, uh, I'll have to work more on that. Compared to the other tutorial I've done, I have not carved five of those before to figure out the thing. I'm more in a freestyle thing right now, and then you can go along with the process and maybe not make the same mistakes as I do. It still looks like something anyway. Yeah, his hands would have been like probably here would have been better. Yeah. Okay. All right, the feet I will Bring them back down. We're almost done finishing the feet, and I think we're good to go. A couple more cuts, and uh, also have these interesting black line on a couple of my latest carving. That seems to be like I don't know if it's like dry sap from before but it creates these black things now I kind of knew it was coming so I put it in the back at least so it doesn't end up in the f in the face of the guy okay just creating the shoes and the, the puffy pants a soul for this guy I think that's good enough these are a bit too big so uh, let's remove that cut the corner Right. 
Yeah, so I just need a last line that will go probably at the bottom here, which is stop cut all the way around. Basically give the shape. Oh, I think I could just do that, I guess. Since the butt is pretty low. Yeah. Just see that he has a long piece of clothing. Then I go in a little bit like that. Then here I can go like this. Okay. What's the shape of the tunic compared to the pants? Okay. And from here I just do a couple of uh, V cuts here and there, a little bit at random to kind of give some uh, texture to the clothing. Yeah. Looks a bit bad. I'll fix that. And then uh, the last important part is the little V in the beard that I do with all my guys. I always do three on both sides. This guy head is smaller than the others. Interesting enough. All right, so I have these. Um, yeah, let's give him a proper helmet also. Same thing here, we go along side. Okay, V cuts. sharp. I was hurting myself holding that guy. Try to be as round as possible depending on the length you gave for the helmet. Be harder to round it. I gave him a, a good shape. Basically, want to try to remove as much end grain as possible. And there's a big black spot here. That's the thing I was talking about earlier. Whatever that is from the wood interesting okay and then from the stop cut to the top we will cut here so that will basically give him a little metal rim on the side of the helmet Let's just, there's always something more, right? The feet are way too thick, so let's carve the corner. Oh, 
There we go. I think that'll do. So here it is. Our little Viking guy. Holding a hammer with really long arms. A bit, a bit disproportionate, but uh, yeah. That'll do. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yes, if you have comments, questions, anything, leave it down there and I will answer them as much as I can. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.